Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back again with another tutorial. I'm um, sorry if my mic is kind of in and out, um, like I'm moving away from it. It's kind of on a slant um, on the right side of me, so it might sound pretty weird. But let's get straight into this tutorial. Let's not waste any time. Um, basically, what I have here is a Progressive House intro. I've started it off with a kick, um, some rides, and built it up. So let's just listen to how the kick sounds. I've high-passed it. And what that does, let me just show you guys. What that does is take away from the low end in the kick so that it doesn't thump as hard first. And then right around the eighth bar, then it starts to really thump um, and really make you feel the kick more. So again, that's what a high pass filter looks like. Um, you just get it by dragging this up until you get the high pass filter. Now, the next thing I have here are some rides. Um, I've actually built these myself. They're like white noise type rides and they sound like this. And with the kick, sounds pretty good. So actually the melody had already been started and the reason why I'm not starting this project file from complete scratch is because I actually had this project for a couple of days now um, and I decided to just go in and make a tutorial about it or else I would have completely started it from scratch but let me just show you the first melody this is the original melody that I came up with um, while I was creating it then I decided to mess around today and make this one but when you put them both together um, using the same synth it sounds really really dope so um, this is what that sounds like. And yeah, that's pretty much where the idea um, for the melody came from. Just mess around and you'll get one. So next I have this drum kick um, sort of clap instrument that goes really well with the kick to start off an intro. And I've actually high passed this as well. Just to take away from the low end so it doesn't sound too much like a kick. Like, I don't like too much of that low end. Um, I just wanted the high part. So, next we have some drums here. And then um, we have a snare roll at the end. But first I'm going to show you the plugs. So this is just a continuous pad pluck type thing that's gonna go on throughout the whole intro and that's what that sounds like but at the end here um, like I said we have a snare roll that just sounds like this actually I'm gonna show you the snare first um, it's comprised of a snare clap which sounds like that and then a regular snare and then when you put them both together um, Um, just the way you pitch them up, what I do is just drag the uh, pitch range all the way up to 48 and then right click, create an automation clip, and then this thing will pop up and you can just move it around whatever way you like. But basically that's it. But one thing I did forget to do is put like some risers or something at the end. So, oops, <laughs> maybe I'll do that now and that's why as you can see guys right there I shot this video like 200 times already and I couldn't get it right actually let's see if I have one in these recent files um oops don't want to play that <laughs> okay let's see if I can find it with uh, no it's not there what the freak the folder is empty it's a freaking what? Oh, I was about to say. All right, let's see. I'll just look in the sample pack. Uplifters. But yeah, I use this one first actually, just because it's a straight white noise uplifter. And actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna cut off the end, 
just so that it lines up with the rest of the track. <laughs> Sorry for that retarded piano. Um, it was just to get the chords, and for some reason, it's like not muted. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna go into let's see let's just get hmm. I had a really cool one um, I guess I'll try this one this might be it <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna put this one in for the moment. No, not this one. I'm gonna put in this one, and then it should sound pretty cool. And that's it for how to make a progressive house intro. Um, next time I'm gonna make the breakdown and um, the drop well the build up all from scratch um, so you can see a lot of what I'm actually doing um, but thank you guys for watching this tutorial thank you for getting my Martin Gags vocal chop tutorial to 30,000 views and um, I'll see you next time <laughs>